kids. Uh, today we are going to be learning about Marc Chagall and his special painting, Eye in the Village. Who is Marc Chagall? Marc Chagall is uh, or was a Russian-born artist from a place called Vitebsk, and he drew from his imagination or he made uh, works of art from his imagination, and uh, he was inspired by some of his life and his uh, dreams. And um, in this particular one, Eye in the Village, we are going to try to attempt to make it our own painting. So hang on there and we're going to get started. Paper, of course, any paper will do. We need a box of crayons and we will need a pencil with hopefully an eraser. Now let's start out with creating a large X from top to bottom. And let's label, can you see that? I, I, draw, I draw it very lightly so that um, it's there, but only we know it's there and it's just a guide. These are guiding lines. So this will have our self-portrait. This area, we're going to put in uh, whatever animal we have that we love. And then we have a half moon shape here. And we have, if you look at the painting, you will see almost like a completed circle that goes around. You see how it, it intersects in this face like that, and it comes around. And then another circle here, so that's our repetition with variation. And we're going to be aware of that. So we're going to draw very, very lightly these things on paper. And notice it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't need to use compasses or rulers, but um, we do want to know where things go. So these are called placement pieces for a composition. Uh, right, now let's get started. In the background here, above here, you have the homes, or you have, this is called negative space here, and negative space here. And in here, I'm going to start to draw the animal. And I'm going to use this as a guide for the goat with its ears. And in here, we have his face beginning to start happening. And it comes up to this point. It doesn't go past the X. So this is your X squadron here. And then you have the, the goat's cheek. And where does the eye go? It goes into the upper portion here, of course. It bisects in here. There we are. So notice how light I'm drawing so that you know it's there, but it's not that definite. So don't worry about it. And I'm putting that circle in here. So everything here is we are feeling our way through. Now, in this particular area of the cheek area, we have another thing happening here with a small goat here with its face and its legs here. And it's a woman sitting on the stool. She's sitting here and she is holding a bucket in her hand. Here's the bucket. And we're going to be um, zooming in a little closer. A little difficult to do here. Okay, so we're going to get her skirt in. I think she's wearing a skirt and her, there we are. And she's sitting with her feet here. Okay, so I'm drawing very lightly. Then you have the nose of the goat like that. It's kind of just like a circle shape. And then you have the mouth that comes in here. It's slightly open and it's coming up to there. And then the base of the chin in here. And you have this other circle coming in here. So you're getting it a little closer to what it's looking like. And hope you don't mind the music in the background. Okay, now we don't want the goat to come across as cross-eyed, so we're going to correct a couple of things here, and hopefully this eraser works. So, trying to use materials that you will all have at home, being that um, uh, we're not in our normal settings at uh, our art studios that we have at, at the uh, JCC. Here we are, though, lucky enough to know that we live in the times of the internet and YouTube. Thank goodness for that. Now, you notice that in this particular quadrant here, how um, this is called variation, but it's also variation with color now. So you have another triangle here coming in, and that triangle is right here like this and it's shaped like that and above that you have kind of another triangle here so you have all these triangles which will help you understand placement when it comes to drawing this animal and then you can make any corrections that you need for instance if i put the air in the wrong place you can then correct it by knowing the sections okay so we've got the goat's head coming in all right and we're bringing it into a triangular shape here and getting i can get the nose a little closer to the edge here okay there we go and fix that eye up Okay, now what we're going to need to do is work on work on the uh, profile. So how does that look? So we're going to um, come up here. So we have his cap. He's wearing a cap, as you can see. And we get that semicircle up there. And we've got his band of the cap here. And you've got the brim coming through here. So I am putting those in as I see it. There we go. Now we are going to get the face in. So let's take a look at that. So the face is coming in right in between the, um, the, the goat and this is where we start placing it in here so i'm going to be working this area now and the nose is pretty long so i'm going to make this the forehead area the nose comes all the way down here and it's a little bit above the uh the goat and now we are going to get the nose in so it's basically a very long triangle shape so if you draw this like a triangle you will get it and then you have the eye placed right above that and it's shaped like another triangle so think of this as a triangle with a semicircle inside there and then you have the lid, which is another added line. And then you have the inner part of the eye, which gets a little shading. And the eyebrow. Okay. Alrighty. 
Now we're coming down to the mouth area. And remember that semicircle or the circular area here. So if we go back in here and follow that circle, we will then know where to place his mouth. Okay. And here we go. So I just drew the completion of that circle. And I'm freehanding it as long as it's circular. And we can see how that's working here. Um, okay. Now the upper lip here. And we have to fit it into the section here. So we're going to make this a little bit longer. And we're relating his mouth to the goat's mouth. Okay. So it's all about relating in art one object to the other. So when you look at the goat's head, you come back in here, and if you see this, you can see the relationship between the two mouths, and they should be on parallel lines, or more or less of a parallel. And here it comes. And look at the space in between the lips. It's another kind of little semi-triangle. Okay, so if you get that, you'll be able to get his bottom lip and his upper lip, okay? And now we are going to figure out where does the chin come in. And if you look at the negative space here, you will then be able to draw this. How do we find that negative space? So from the tip of his nose to the tip of the nose of the of the goat, we can then begin to draw this triangle from here to here. So see that triangle coming in? We can always clean it up later. And now we have, how do we know where the bottom of the chin is? So let's take a look at the bottom of the chin. There we go. We have to come into the base. So let's figure out where the base comes in. Before we do this base of the chin, we want to put this triangle in with the tree. So where does that come in? Uh, the triangle is coming right out of the goat's mouth all the way down and this way to the very bottom. So we are coming in from here to here, all the way down. We can almost make it to the base of the paper. We can go all the way down here and come down this way. Okay, so now we are going to place the tree coming in here. Um, let's look at the branches. So what shape do you see here? It's kind of like a crooked Y shape. And notice the hand, he's holding the hand and has a ring on it. So all very symbolic. So we have the branch, um, the new growth, and uh, what I'm going to be doing is creating the Y shape of the tree coming down here and here. And it's coming in like this and like that. And we're going to start putting all those other um, things. So what shape do you see that? Is the leaves kind of like circular? Uh, a organic circle shape with a little bit of a point to it. Um, so let's do that. And how many do you see? So you can estimate. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, you can just um, make your own shapes in there. Like I said, you can put your own flowers in or you can put your own shapes of leaves or whatever it is that kind of you relate to. Um, so this is just getting to know this painting. And uh, what we're going to do later is in order for something to stand out, you create different values. So if you see how you have the darks next to the lights. So you have almost black next to white and a pure red and so on. So what we are going to be doing also is putting that shape for the hand in. And what shape do you see? Overall shape would be kind of a semicircle, top of a circle. So we're going to create like an art, an art shape here. And then we're going to start filling in all the fingers and we're going to be placing the uh, fingers in that arc of the uh, circle semicircle and placing it in this way and this way so we have a semblance of a hand and to make sure it reads as a hand we're gonna put that ring on the finger like that so it goes around like that and now we're going to look again at the painting and you see this variation over here of a circle divided in half. It almost looks like, um, what are those cookies called? Black and white cookies. Um, so that would fit somewhere in here like we did before. So you have a smaller circular shape right here. And then when you draw, you're, you don't need to draw exact lines, but you're trying to feel your way through. Okay, so we are getting the basics in, as you can see. And this eye here is very peculiar. It doesn't really have an eyeball per se like, like the goat does. So it has kind of a... Um, an ellipse of sorts, but look at this line here. It's like making a connection. I don't know if you could see that. Is uh, try to get that. You see that that line that goes across? So it's like a connection to the goat, and it's making that connection here. Okay, now we're going to get all this other stuff that's happening in the background, which is quite interesting. So let's take a look at those background pictures. We have this woman, or it feels like a woman. It could be something else in this uh, church. Um, and then you have like some kind of cloud. I'm not sure if it's the moon. There's another home, an upside down house, an upside down house, another home. And you have another. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different buildings. And they all need to fit above this space here. So let's fix that space up here. And just start putting in those shapes that fit on a uh, kind of a semicircular shape. And you have the, the, um, all these different things happening here. Now, like I said, you can make your own images of buildings. You don't have to do exactly what you see here. Uh, feel free to create whatever it is you might relate to. Who knows? Maybe it's your um, your village. So what's in your what's what's in your neighborhood? What buildings do you see in your neighborhood that you pass by every day? Um, it could be your school. could be the um, fire department. could be Publix or whatever, supermarket or restaurant uh, or any kind of... Um, thing that you pass by. Maybe it's your playground. But um, this is specifically doing his village because the name of the painting is called I and the Village. And that is what we are trying to convey here. The village. Okay. And that's what I am going to be conveying here. Okay. Now, 
that's the base. So you have this happening here. Then you have this peculiar thing going on with the with the Grim Reaper and the woman. So that is a woman, you see. So you have that happening. And we're going to get that in. So we're going to do a little bit of a stick figure here. And what we want to make sure of is that um, that's the sickle that's used uh, to represent something other than good things. And now you have the shape of his body sweater. And you have his legs. And he's walking up a hill. So one leg is going to be going up. And there's a foot in a triangular shape. And then you have the back leg. So this leg is going to be on this curve here. And his back leg comes in here like that. And now we are going to be getting closer to this. Now his hand or his arm is holding the reaper. Okay. It's holding like a sickle of sorts. Not a good thing. Okie doke. Now we're coming to the woman who's hanging upside down. Where are her feet? Um, I don't know where her feet are. Looks like they're hanging from this circular shape here. So overall, the shape of the woman's dress or bottom part is kind of like a rectangular shape. So that's what you have to ask yourself when you're drawing. What, what shape is